Hello, I'm Bernie Rush of Lean Ireland. Today I'm going to speak to you about some books that you may be interested in reading in order to broaden and deepen your knowledge of lean. The first of these books is called Lean Thinking. It was written by James Womack and Daniel Jones and originally published way back in 1996. This is the book that became the first international bestseller that really publicized the Toyota production system for a Western audience. This is also the book that brought us the five lean principles that we know today. The first of these principles is that before you design or amend any process, you get a clear understanding of what it is your customer values in your service or product. Not only a clear understanding, but a clear and quantified understanding. In other words, you put yourselves in the shoes of your customer before designing or amending your process. The second principle in this book is that you gain an understanding of every single step that delivers the service or the product to the customer. And you do this by developing a documented value stream map. The third principle outlined in this book says that the next steps you take are to develop flow. In other words, identify where all of the delays, the wastes, the mistakes are in that value stream and seek to eliminate them. This is as far as companies usually bring their lean journey. Uh, they implement a 5S foundation program, they implement tiered visual management systems, they implement some standard work and some error proofing and bring about considerable improvements to service delivery to the customer at a lower cost to themselves. However, the real transformational step is step four, which is implementing pull systems. When you implement this particular principle, you turn your supply chain really through a 180 degree revolution and you only produce what is demanded by the customer at that point in time. This is the most challenging element of lean transformation for any organization. The final principle then is perfection. Uh, Womack and Jones advise us that we should continuously seek perfection because that's what they do in Toyota. Never be happy with the current state because always technology is changing, the marketplace is changing, regulations are changing, consumer preferences are changing. So you need to be always agile and fit in responding to changing customer needs. A very good read, Lean Thinking. It presents many case studies of the application of lean outside the automotive industry. The next book that I'm going to describe to you is From the Horse's Mouth, and I don't mean to disparage um, Mr. Taichi Ono in any way. This is the gentleman who started off as an engineer within the Toyota Motor Company back in the late 1930s. This lovely little book is written in a conversational style, as if the author were interviewing Taichi Ono. The chapters are short and it's full of pearls of wisdom, some of which may be counterintuitive. For example, he's not a huge advocate of automation, whereas many companies pursue automation as a measure to reduce costs. Taichi Ono says that this is not necessarily the best thing to do. I would highly recommend this book to gain an understanding from one of the key founding fathers of Lean within the Toyota Motor Company. The third book um, that I want to bring to your attention is the one that's probably most popular as a lean manual at the moment. It's called The Toyota Way and it's written by Jeffrey Liker. This book brings you 14 management principles from Toyota. Now, no more than lean thinking, Toyota don't say they have five lean principles, nor do Toyota say that they have 14 management principles. This is what Jeffrey Liker has interpreted from observing and studying uh, the Toyota way and from interviewing a number of managers who have worked in various Toyota plants over the years. This is a very good detailed guideline for any manager who is interested in implementing lean in their organisation. I hope that you found this brief review useful to you and I would really encourage you to do some background reading on lean principles and practices to help you transform your organisation. Thank you for watching.